Let's find how fast we gotta shoot this birdie to hit the TNT and blow all these piggies. What angle are we supposed to shoot him at? Let's just try aiming 45 degrees up. Ready? Freeze! So I want us to find V, his initial velocity. If we find the right V, would he hit the TNT exactly? That's right. I know how we could do this. We need him to land exactly 20 meters across and five up. So let's split his motion horizontally and vertically. How's that gonna help us though? Well, his horizontal velocity never actually changes. Actually, yay, air resistance will change Please it. Please don't overcomplicate this, Kim. So you're saying his horizontal velocity is just this across the whole of the 20 meters? Hell yeah. And guess what? Velocity equals displacement over time. Yep, and so rearranging gives us the time it takes to get from here to here. And now we can use this in our vertical motion calculations. Wait, wait, wait. what's using that time gonna do? Well, in that time, he'll be 20 meters across, but we can also plan for him to end five up vertically. Whoa, that's smart. I am smart. Oh, stop the self-glaze and let me cook. Okay, so he starts with this velocity, but gravity accelerates him downwards. So if we get out the equations of motion, it looks like this one has everything we need. Guys, we made this fat equation, but how do we actually find VI? We're very close. So see how these two components of VI are adjacent and opposite to this 45 degree angle. And if we use SOHCAHTOA, sin 45 cost 45. Quick rearrange. Now let's replace these and we can finally solve for VI. So it's about 16.2 meters per second. That's it, the perfect initial velocity. 